Good afternoon, friends. EJ here at the back porch, and we've got some exciting things to show you. Uh, we've um, we've got some new things in. It's been a while since we've taken a stroll through the store, uh, so I want to show you some of the new things that our awesome vendors have brought in, and uh, some things that you might find interesting. Uh, all of this stuff is for sale. If by chance you're interested, just give us a shout in the messages or give us a, a call uh, here at the shop. I'd uh, be glad to make it yours. We'll help you any way that we can on pricing, help you any way we can on shipping or anything like that. But um, it is a business, so we're trying to sell some of this stuff. But every piece is a memory, and um, we're here to help you make memories. First up, just came in today. Pretty cool, authentic uh, Native American uh, totem pole, I guess is the correct terminology. Uh, signed by the Indian chief that did it, and it's a pretty cool piece. And again, just came in today. And... You know, throughout the store today, you'll see you'll see some pretty good selections of glassware, things like this. These slag glass vases do really well. Um, a lot of people really like them. Uh, that's one of two that came in in the past week. The other one is already sold, but that's a pretty cool piece um, available here at the Back Porch Antiques. We have um, wonderful crockware selections. We've had some Harmon Crocs in lately. Uh, we'll do a video at some point maybe on Harmon Crocs, but uh, there's a selection of some um, um, crocs and things like that. Check out this old cast iron parrot. Who doesn't need a cast iron, iron cast iron parrot? A good color, obvious vintage, uh, has a good look to it. Uh, we have some pantry boxes. Everybody loves good pantry boxes. You'll see some of those throughout the store. These babies are old, have that good red wash look to them. There are several to choose from here in the store. Another individual there that might look familiar to you. Um, you know, also talking about crockware, here is a big crock attributed to Charles Decker, who is a pretty famous uh, local potter here from Washington County, Tennessee. Check out these handles, these marks here. Uh, those are indicative of Decker pottery. Um, a pretty good piece right there available here at the back porch. This is a wonderful, and I, I might have highlighted this in a video before, but this is a beautiful Jackson press with um, beautiful inlay work. A great example of fine furniture made in East Tennessee. This is a Green or Hawkins County piece. Um, so anybody that uh, loves good quality furniture can uh, find some good pieces here. Our wonderful uh, booth number 34, they bring in some good stuff. They have some connections from uh, up north where things are really old and they bring in some good primitives. Uh, as you can see in this booth here, uh, everybody, it seems like a lot of people are always looking for a coat rack, and they've got a good oak example there. Uh, so if you're looking for a coat rack, you can find it here at Timeless Treasures booth. Um, these people here, the Lion and the Lamb, just did a booth revamp and did some wall painting. It looks great. Um, I like that color. It makes things pop. They've got some good end tables in, some good crocs. Um, a banana box over there, all kinds of things that you can decorate with in um, uh, those sorts of um, primitive type decor and uh, those sorts of things. Our mid-century booth over here, uh, they keep things stocked really well. Um, good selection of Blendo, some decent Pyrex things, um, some good, uh, good selection of mid-century uh, items. There's a cool chip and dip set, and um, you can find some, find some pretty cool things in there. Uh, always keep good quilts. Um, this is booth number 59. They also keep a pretty good selection of hens on nest. Those are pretty interesting. They have some good um, porcelain type figurines. Our friends at Big Spring Woodworks uh, put together these. They're not, obviously they're not antique, uh, but we have a heart here at the Back Porch Antiques for uh, that which is patriotic. We have a great appreciation for those who serve our country in one way or another. Uh, so we're happy in selling those patriotic flags. Uh, back here in our good furniture room, um, there are lots of things that um, Mr. Tony has brought in. This particular piece right here is actually historically significant. It uh, has that Wythe County, Virginia look to it. Um, and it's actually from Withful. And um, it is the first desk that was in the first post office in Wythe County, Virginia. Uh, so it has a good look to it. Uh, this opens up into like a mail sorter type cabinet. Uh, it may actually be locked. I've got, nope. And you can see the drawers and things up there to where they were. Um, the mail was sorted. You can see the handwriting up on the top there. A very cool piece. All of this uh, was found together. Um, and 
there's uh, some of the, uh, maybe some of the um, paperwork. I think that particular paperwork is part of this piece, but a very historically significant piece and some more things available here uh, at the Back Porch Antiques. This is an absolutely beautiful heart pine sideboard. That baby's like 50 inches tall, heavy as lead, beautiful heart pine. Just came in the door today, has a wonderful look to it. Uh, we can, you know, th these prices are, these pieces are extremely valuable. So um, they're expensive to acquire. I can help you with the pricing if it's something that you like. I'll, I'll help you all I can. But these are our high-end pieces that um, are represented here at the Back Porch Antiques. Beautiful North Carolina piece there. Here's a pie safe that he brought in. Um, he's got a couple of those in. Uh, if you like creepy old folk art stuff, um, check out this horse, the hairless horse, but definitely got some age to it. Uh, Whirly gig, really cool type colonial uh, Whirly gig here. Um, early paint, his arms do actually actuate, so uh, some good, uh, good folk art there that presents well. You've seen these discs before. Here's another good sideboard. Lots of good miniatures. These are not salesman samples. These are examples of work. Uh, miniature cabinets uh, and things like that. These are just absolutely beautiful works of art. Uh, a couple of beautiful desks that present really well uh, of some age and uh, just absolutely beautiful pieces. Whatever you want, we've got it here at the Back Porch Antiques Corner Cupboard. Um, primitive step backs. This too is a pretty cool piece. A silver stand uh, where how wealthy individuals in the early 19th century would have kept their silverware. That's a pretty cool piece. Um, also just brought in this primitive pie safe. Uh, three, six, nine, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten safe. Good piece there. And over there's a 12, 10 safe. Some good things over there. <coughs> Excuse me. Everybody's always looking for an oak table. There's a good oak table. Uh, if you're looking for a specific piece, you know, for a small dining room or things like that, uh, that's a good piece. Over here, we have a good run of daisy churns. If you're familiar with daisy churns, you'll know what these, these are. But have you ever seen them offered in a step-down situation in different sizes? And uh, those can be bought individually, but they can also be bought um, as a set. Uh, a great table here. Not extremely old, but has a great old look to it. Very utilitarian. Um, beautiful old handmade wooden box there, just wonderful pieces. And I, you know, I hate to keep, I hate to keep singing our own song, but we really do have some good pieces here. Uh, good butcher's block. Everybody loves a butcher's block. If I drop this on my toe, you'll hear me cry. But that's, I guess, technically a hog splitter. Uh, he's going to call it a beef splitter, cleaver, uh, twelve inch blade. I'm telling you, man, could get some turn on that, and you know. Declaw, dehorn, whatever he needs to do, he can do it with that particular piece. I'm going to turn that around. We don't want anybody knocking that off on their foot because they will no longer have a foot. Pretty cool piece. Pretty cool piece. Good old red wash, uh, butter churn there. Lots of good things to, uh, to be offered. Also, uh, in this particular booth, I think you've seen it before, but some good, authentic uh, topaz and um, turquoise jewelry. Native American artifacts that are available here. Wonderful old uh, Southern Cherry tall case clock. Uh, you can tell how old that is just by looking at it. Uh, it has been reduced from almost 1600 to 1250. Uh, we do have the key. It does um, open up and things for you. The weights are there. Also have a guy that does some good quilts and he's brought in a few more, a couple that are signed. I really like this pink quilt and can't figure out why it's still here. If somebody likes that sort of color, but uh, some butterfly patterns, um, some sign pieces. Uh, there's a double wedding banner too in there. Uh, they present uh, really well. He also has some pretty cool Fenton glassware also. This lady over here keeps some, uh, some pretty good um, decorative pieces. This is a pretty cool piece. Caught my eye. If you look at it, it looks like it's got water in it of some sort of liquid. And she had this put on top of it, and it says uh, acid, sulfuric acid. And, of course, when I saw that, knowing that sulfuric acid is not really good for you, I was like, oh, no. And then I picked that up, and it was like, um, I, it solidified. So I guess it's some sort of epoxy or resin or something, but it looks like it's been spilled. So that's that's kind of got a good look to it. Uh, Joe over here always has great things, some great, uh, you know, great 
brass pails and things like that. Some wonderful working tools. Great bottles over there in the corner in that corner cupboard. Uh, and always keep some good stuff. Our cast iron guy has some pretty good cast iron pieces. Matter of fact, down here is a pretty rare piece. Um, a, a donut. Let's see. Donut roaster. And it's got the, the lid. Um, pretty cool piece. Uh, fairly rare. Uh, we got some good good toys in here at the back porch antiques i've highlighted this one already but it's a it's a pretty cool piece it's you know the hubbly motorcycle there with the, the sidecar uh, patterned after the uh i guess either the harley or the indian and i've also got some good um good old toys down there that um we're kind of proud of and some good crock jugs and things like that uh, we carry case knives a lot of you uh, appreciate case knives if you look in here we've got some good canoes uh, canoe knives and things like that um, a couple, maybe a whittler there and a trapper uh, that present fairly well. Um, Fenton glassware. We keep good Fenton in. Uh, here is a pretty cool piece. Uh, it's the stag and holly um, version. And actually this one, it says has uranium feet. So I guess those feet glow. If you like uranium glass, those sorts of things. Of course, Miss Brenda still has her Blue Ridge, uh, those sorts of things. She also has uh, some, some pretty cool crocs with uh, some um, cobalt decoration and, and odds, and like, odds and ends like that uh, presents fairly well. This is a really cool piece, um, just acquired, just brought in today. Uh, let me read, it's a Hobbs, I can't read that second name, Brockuner, Brockner, I'm not exactly sure how you say that. Maybe somebody watching this video will show it, but. Opalescent, hobnail, yellow, dewdrop, oil lamp, circa 1888. Very cool piece. She also keeps them. Um, Pyrex in. Pink gooseberry. Everybody loves pink gooseberry. That's actually priced pretty well. They're good bowls. If you're looking for some pink gooseberry, come find us. Uranium glass. We've gotten more of that in. There's some pretty cool pieces in there. Some Fenton pieces. Some Northwood pieces. That coin, coin dot uh, pitcher down there is really good. Um, so if you're looking for some uranium... Come find us. Coins, jewelry, local things, we've got it. Um, if you're looking for good glassware, we've got it. There's some over here in this cabinet. Um, some Northwood, and earlier before that, maybe some Fenton. Uh, wonderful, good-looking, original old paint, uh, orange cupboard there. Uh, that presents well. So just kind of a chance to... Stroll through the store a little bit. I hope you've seen something that you like. Um, shoot us a comment if you've got any of this stuff, or if you if you want to ask any questions or make any comments, please feel free to do so. We're always uh, uh, willing to open up in dialogue with our viewers. So thanks for watching. By the way, if you get the chance, share this video, like this video. Um, by all means, um, like our page and subscribe, and we'd surely appreciate it. And we'll catch you next time.